Hello everyone and welcome to part 21 on Snow Runner. And right now I'm at a gas station and some of you already might know what we're going to be doing today. And of course, we're going to be doing another contract, but this time this one needs a lot of work. So today we're going to be doing we're going to be transporting a lot of things. So here it is, the Port Polar Base Supply. So we ha we have to deliver some bricks. Metal plank, metal planks, and a couple of fuel, or like a bunch of fuel barrels to the place over here, which is right here. And I mean, it looks not too bad. I mean, we we can take this route over here, and of course, we're going to be using the the Royale. I think that's the name of the truck that we're using, the Royale BM17, of course. So let's go ahead and start the truck and get started with transporting the fuel first. And then the bricks, and then the metal planks. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do. But uh, anyways, here we go. We're going to load it up and start driving. So, beautiful. Uh, I'm definitely going to stick to the roads because I do not want to go into dirt. I mean, we could. This truck is pretty hardcore, so we can definitely do that. But with the load that we have, I think we're just going to take it easy and just drive or try to find some roads along the way. Because I want to finish just... Finish, finish this job as quickly as possible because if we finish this job we're also going to level up to rank number 10 which is going to be also pretty exciting because that means we're going to unlock maybe a couple of stuff not a lot but we should unlock some some stuff <laughs> for uh, one of our uh, trucks maybe some customizations or anything like that but okay we're going to go ahead and turn over here because there's a road that leads us straight to the place that we need to go. I mean, not straight, but let's say <laughs> sort of. Yeah, this is, I don't know if that's, this was a good idea, but still, we still have some trees around us, so we always have that option to use our winch, like always. But yeah, I'm also planning to maybe to move to Russia because, I mean, I don't know what else could I do. I mean, I could go to another world because, I mean, <laughs> that would be pretty amazing. In Alaska to already move to another world, but uh, I mean, there's so much work to do here. I mean, there's a bunch of work, and I mean, the trucks that we have right now are really good, but I think we need some hyper beast trucks. If you guys know what I'm talking about, just hype, just tricked out trucks that can just go anywhere, even on snow or even on a hill, they can go everywhere basically. So, anyways, <laughs> so definitely gonna go ahead and uh, just drive here. I still, I'm still thinking about selling the Fleecer. I don't know why, but just like, I don't know. It's just such a good truck. I mean, I'm not gonna say this, that it's like the best truck, but I don't know. I just have kind of a connection to it. I just love this, love the way that I like say it, like the Fleet Star. I just love, I just like kind of like the name and just like the fact that it's actually my third like best truck when I began with the game. So yeah, oh. <laughs> okay, that was pretty sick, but kind of scary. <laughs> I just drifted a truck. Great, and kind of and almost flipped over at the same time. Great, that was pretty fun. And also not really. No way! Did I actually just broke a tire? Did I actually just broke a tire? I did. No crap. Okay. Well, um. Are we gonna drive on this broken tire? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna... Screw it. I'm gonna drive on this broken tire. <laughs> Guys, don't do this. Why? I keep crashing into the guardrails. I don't know why is it with me with guardrails and stuff, but I always crash into them. And I... Or, and of course I did it and... I mean... I just broke a tire. Great. By the way, it's actually my first time ever breaking a tire, so this could be interesting or kind of dangerous and very bad at the same time but anyway so let's drive <laughs> oh man this looks ridiculous okay now I really have to be careful because I have a I have a feeling that it's gonna like break off or something like that I mean it's not gonna happen I know but let's say uh, uh, let's say in like a real life situation it would have happened that would be pretty scary really 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 scary yeah, we're still gonna stick onto the roads and be more careful, of course, because otherwise my truck is just gonna get broke, 
I mean, my truck is basically gonna break, and then we have to, like, do this delivery all over again, where we have to get, the, where we have to go back to the gas station and grab the fuel, and yeah, I don't want to do it again, so, anyways, we're just gonna drive over here, there you go, oh, there we go, and go around, no, 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 don't go into the snow, thank you, come on, you can do this, nicely done. Okay, so I just want to double sh check that we're going right. Yes, we are. No, oh, did it again. Stop crashing to the rails. My tire is literally red. That's how bad it is. It doesn't have any air. It just like popped. I just hit a guardrail and just popped. Great. At least if we didn't break the the, ga uh, the fuel, the the gas tank, because that would have been pretty bad. Would have leaked a lot of fuel everywhere. We would have. But well, we're fine. <laughs> we can still continue on with our broken tire. Oh, crap. Okay. No. 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 No slip. No slip. Now I really do not. Now I really do not trust this truck. I really do not. So yeah, the, the sad thing is I can't. I still cannot progress to the next world because it's like telling us that it's still like closed off. Which is pretty sad. And I, like, I really want to continue and explore more, more of uh, Alaska. Not Russia. Oh my god, am I so bad at driving? God damn. I mean, it looks like I'm really bad at it today. Damn, okay, I'm s really sorry, guys, that I'm really doing terrible on my driving situation, but. <laughs> Hopefully, it's interesting because, I mean. We have been, mostly we have been driving with like trucks that are completely repaired or have a little bit of damage, but nothing like this. <laughs> with this type of damage where a tire is like popped. So it could be interesting or it could be bad at the same time. Okay, so now here might be the most difficult thing. Which we have to go through the water. I'm curious if I can like... Mm, I don't know if I should do it. Let's see. Is it maybe a good, better idea? No, you know what? Why am I slipping a lot? Yeah, I'm just gonna go through the water and just keep falling. Might be the best idea or the way, best way to do it. Alright, and we're out. Beautiful. And then when we deliver the fuel, I'm gonna see if I'm also gonna, I'm also gonna flip, yeah. I'm gonna switch over to the Fleet Star. Not the Fleet Star, oh my god. I'm mixing up names today. <laughs> uh, we're gonna move on to the Twin Steer. Uh, I forgot the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The big long truck that we can like fit a lot of cargo into. Yeah, that truck. We're gonna stuff it in, basically stu stuff it in with a lot of gas. Not a gas. Like, am I? <laughs> It might be because that I'm tired. It might be because I today I really didn't slept at all. Like I only slept about three or four hours because I was uploading the the Call of Duty Modern Warfare video last time, and I was really busy with school. Like the problem is now with, like the coronavirus and all that. Like my school is still open, but we're not really like learning a lot. So mostly we do the things online, and it's just like I've been sitting there like three or four hours trying to figure out like. A, like a couple of words and like my video was also taking a while to like get uploaded by YouTube I don't know why but also that's also a thing oh no I just I just went the goddamn wrong way and I did by the way is there a trailer around here I think not okay, no we're not gonna mess around we're just gonna deliver it to pl uh, to 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 point a or to be, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take this road. Dirt road, to be more exact. It's dirt. It's all dirt. Dirty, dirty, dirt. Damn, I can go 35 miles per hour over here? Damn, that's crazy. That's pretty crazy how fast you can go here. I'm going 15. Oh, no, no, don't sink. Don't sink, come on. 
That tire, that little broken tire is not going to stop you from doing anything. I know you can still do this. Yeah, of course. Use all, use all the power that you have. The truck. Use all, try to use all of it. <laughs> water over road. Of course. Water everywhere. Water is everywhere. Okay, here we go. Into the water we go. fine. It's okay. <laughs> it's all good. And we're out. Almost. Come on. Are you really stuck right now? Oh, man. You got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm getting stuck right now. I'm, like, so close. Here we go. There we are. Okay, so at least we delivered one thing. <laughs> we at least delivered the fuel. Now we have to go to the warehouse, or I think, and get some metal planks. And then the bricks, which might be the most difficult uh, task out of all of them. Okay. Here it is. Here's the place. The place to be. It's actually a pretty weird place to like to like deliver it. It's like right here. Okay, cargo, cargo. Okay, so one thing is completed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drive this thing again to the factory to pick up some metal planks. So we're gonna do that. Whoops, sorry about your fans. Well, I'm trying to get somewhere, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the one thing that we need right now. Metal. And here we are at the place for for the, the one thing that we need. We need some planks. So, uh, metal planks. Perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and back up and drive again to the place. Going through the water again, through the mud. And then, finally switch over to the twin steer. The big, long truck, where we have to deliver tons of bricks. Bricky bricks. 15 miles per hour. I'm going much faster than that, definitely. Over here, we have to turn. Full speed. Full speed, yes. Good job. Okay, here it is. The very last time that we're gonna use the Royale BM-17. For now. I mean, we're definitely gonna use it in the future. But for now, with a broken tire, we're definitely gonna put it inside. Oh, like over here. Okay. Put in a handbrake. Almost almost broke this guy's fence again. So, now. Where are you, Twins here? So you're right over here. Uh, with not a lot of fuel. So what I was thinking about is going to this warehouse over here, traveling to the gas station, and basically take this road over here. That's going to be my plan. But first, I have to remove this cargo. So there you go. So we don't really need it. We don't really need it. So remove that. And drive backwards. Get out of this very tight little space. Right over here. It's a good, good thing that the warehouse is like really close to us. Pretty, pretty close. But now the question is, is this, is this not going to be too heavy for us? Because it's a wide load, that's what it says. With a uh, captain, uh, yeah, with big letters, wide load. I mean, is it a wide load? It looks like more like a long load. Oh, that... Oh man, that sounds wrong. I'm sorry, guys. A long, a, a long load. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry for disturbing you. Guys. Uh, sorry for disturbing your uh, peace and saying that, but <laughs> I was not trying to say it. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, anyways, bricks, 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 and bricks. There we go. Look at that. Tons of bricks. Bricks for everyone. Everybody's gonna have their bricks. 
could also call them Lego bricks, but not really. Come on, keep turning. Yeah, we just have to follow this one. That's great. Hopefully we can uh, go above this hill. So it's a pretty steep one. Definitely a pretty steep one, but come on. Yes. Beautiful 16 or 12. I think, is it a 12 cylinder or a 16 cylinder? I don't know. Or a V8, it could be. But it was. Uh, I think that it had a 16 or 12 cylinder engine. So, definitely has it one. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful engine. I wonder if they're ever going to be making like 18 and 20 cylinder engines, but I think that's never gonna, going to be happening. I mean, that's that's a lot of cylinders. I'm curious what like what engine had the most cylinders, or like is there like a world record of most cylinders in one engine? And I'm talking about like a production vehicle. Hmm, I might actually look that up. I'm kind of interested. What car had the most cylinders when they were or went into production? Ask. I'm definitely gonna search that up when I'm done recording this video, of course. So, let's go through this very steep water. Very, very deep. I mean, it's not really deep. I mean, for our truck, it's not really deep, but definitely for the Chevy, the beginner's truck. Okay. Come on. Get yourself up this hill. Just wiggle your way out. Mm. Yes, you did it. You did it, my boy. You did it. You did it. Da -da -da. I think this might be like the the best looking inside, or like the best looking truck from the inside, definitely, and the most comfortable one. So if I had to choose what truck I would I, I, you know what? I don't know. If I had to choose what truck I really would have, like, really want to drive, it's maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the Paystar. Just the fact that I just kind of like the square, square shaping of it. Or even maybe this, but I would be, I would be pretty scared to drive this because it's like huge. So definitely not. Um. I would have. I would definitely drive the Helmer, of course. In Scout 800, or even uh, the Russian truck. The Russian truck that I had. I don't know what is the name again. I just forgot. Okay, so I definitely want to turn into here if I can. So we definitely have to back up multiple times in order to turn. And I might actually break the signs. Whoops. And back up. And then full forward we go. Nice. Very, very nice. We got the bricks. We got the stuff. We got the juice. Everything to complete this task. Okay, but I'm definitely going to use a winch. Oh, great. Or you can just do that. <laughs> or you can do that. Great. Keep going. Man, you're so sloppy, truck. You're so. You don't have that much power, don't don't you? Okay. Not bad. Okay, at least we're a semi out. Are we? Nope. Still nothing. Well. No, no, no. That's the wrong tree. This tree that I'm trying to attach onto. Now we should be out. Good. Okay, we're out. <laughs> we're out of the mud. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna turn right away. Pretty. Come on. No, keep turning. Because of the road, that's really icy. And then I can't really turn. That's a nice horn. <laughs> That's a very, very nice horn. 
And there's a poor Fleet Star, just waiting to get used, but it's not going to get never used. Maybe in the future, but for now, it's just going to sit there, sitting uncollected. But we're still going. No problems at all. And full speed. There we go. Good job. So we still have one more obstacle to go, or actually two, two rivers. And the same one. And here it is. No, 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 no. Oh my god. God damn. I was, I'm going too fast. And again, I just... Great. Great crash. Mr. Orange, great crash. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if I should risk it, or should I actually just, like, drive into the water and just... No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. Not good. Not good. There's gonna be, yes, there's gonna be a normal person, drive on the road, and on dirt roads, of course, and just get there normally, just following the roads. Am I supposed to turn around here? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Man, I'm so happy that we're going to uh, complete this delivery. And then we're also going to be doing another task. Uh, or, yeah, we're going to be doing a task. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the one that, we're gonna, that I'm planning to do is the with the Chevy that's, like, stuck on the hill. So I'm definitely going to take out a the beefy, beefy scout truck. To get it out of there and deliver it to its right or owner and of course make get some cash or of course make some quick cash and finish some of the percentage or like yeah finish most of the tasks in this uh in, in alaska of course okay so over here we are supposed to turn so we're gonna do that right now Telling us, yeah, on the sign says town. I'm not really sure there's a town. I could really, I can't, I'm not really sure if that's a town. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wait. Okay, I'm going to. I was actually looking the. I was just kind of confused where where I was looking at the map. I was like, uh, did we take the wrong turn again? <laughs> nope, we didn't. We're good. Still on the right path. Oh, wow, look at the moon. The moon looks beautiful in the sky. Very, very good. Come on. First gear. I'm wasting about 16 liters per minute. Let's go. I wonder when they're gonna like start releasing some electrics, electric trucks. I I know that Tesla's making one. Or already has one, but it's still not out. <laughs> but I really want to see some more electric trucks popping up because most of them, I mean, I know gas is more better or more powerful and kind of reliable than electric, but like there has to be like trucks at least for like small distances. I mean, vans are fine, but like big trucks where you can just like load a bunch of stuff and basically drive to like let's say from Germany to Poland or Germany to to the Netherlands, like a very small, like maybe 100, 200, 300 kilometers. And also it's pretty economical, of course, and quiet, of course. So definitely the truck driver is really gonna enjoy the quietness in its, in its truck. Okay, I'm, I'm getting really st stuck right now. I don't really like. out there we go okay we're out man I'm happy <laughs> I'm really happy to deliver deliver the last goods to the port polar base supply oh wow that's bright <laughs> that's pretty bright Those are some very bright lights that are shining in the front. Come on, keep going. We're almost there, just... I know we can do this. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna turn right here. Or, never mind. 
back up. And again. Press the gas. Come on. Really? <laughs> okay, here it is. Beautiful. And there you go. Rank number 10. Very nice. Look how much money we have. 60,000 bucks. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to stop the engine and switch over to the, ne to the next task. So, uh, I'm going to definitely going to remove the waypoints and all that. Uh, so, tasks should be here. Uh, where is it? Lost tube. No. No. Trailer park. No. Stuck in the mountains. There you go. There it is. The Chevy truck that we're going to be getting out. So, I'm definitely going to switch to this beast over here. The Marshall. There you go. Always, I always said a uh, Russian truck, but no. It's a Marshall. It's our Marshall. Look, look how powerful this thing is. Just, just crazy. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh that, was cool. that was kind of scary. Okay, I'm just going to tap the gas. Just tap it. And try not to drift with it. Of course not. Trying to be careful at the same time. Because otherwise we're going to have another... Another... I mean, truck or vehicle with a uh, pop tire. Oh, nice bounce. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Come on. Okay, so where exactly is it? That's what I'm asking. It's stuck in the mountain. So, yeah. Across the water from here. And then we have to climb the very dangerous hill. With the one and only Marshall. Come on, I want to do this quickly. <laughs> just, just keep going. As fast as you can. Yeah, that's what I like. That's what I like to see. <gasps> Some speed. Oh. That's too much speed. Too much speed is also not good. But a little bit of it is fine. Going so quick through the water. Damn. Oh, don't hit the don't hit the rock. Okay. So here it's telling us that it's yeah, it's right here. So I'm gonna find a maybe a better place to climb, because there's not a log where I can like hook onto like any trees. Doesn't look like it. I could let's see. Let's try to go this way. Let's go through the snow. Uh, double check. Stuck in the mountains. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna follow this over here. It's very, very thick snow. Okay, go between the trees. No, 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 don't drive into the tree. What are you doing? I want you to go this way. Here we go. Oh, man, that's that's a big hill. Can I make it? Screw it. Let's do it. Oh, my God. It's doing it. Sick. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Okay. That was easy. Um. So here it is. In it's full glory. We're gonna accept it, and now the question is from where am I gonna attach it to? Let's see if I can get it from the front or the back. The back is going to be the better choice. No, let's stop the engine. Okay, attach winch to the back. Okay, now I want you to follow me and follow through this hill. You're pretty, you, got your, pretty, you got yourself pretty stuck in here. I can tell. Uh, how am I going to get uh, get you out of here? Uh, okay, no, let's back up. Let's back up first. <laughs> okay, 
right over here. Between these trees. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, well that was that was interesting. Oh crap. Can I still attach onto it? No. Let's see. Okay, put on the handbrake. Okay, I still can. Beautiful. Don't you dare also flip over. Oh, there you go. Slowly, slowly. Okay. Okay, you did great. You did great. Okay, good, 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 good. At least you didn't flip over. That's the most important thing. Right over here. Uh, are you seriously stuck? God damn it. There's so many trees. If, there's, if there were, like, no trees around here, this would have been perfect. Yes. Follow me. No. They keep getting stuck from this. Ah. I hate when it happens. Okay, you know what? Let's see. Can I make you go this way? I really hate you, truck. I really do hate you. Why is it so annoying to get out of here? Like, you know what? Full power. Yes, it worked. I think. Did it? Did it actually work? A little. Uh, this way, come on! Follow me through the light. Yes, okay, we did it. Perfect. So now we have to bring it to the owner. Ah! <laughs> you ah trees! I hate you trees. Okay, I'm really gonna. I'm just gonna force you out of there. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Force! Yeah, one more time. One more single time. Okay, you're out. Beautiful. Now we can keep on driving. Uh, maybe I'm gonna pull you a little bit closer to me. That might be a better idea. A little bit closer, so I know what I'm doing exactly. Closer. And again, a little closer. Although, crash into the back of me. <laughs> Don't crash into me. Uh, okay, I want to start tracking it. So I know where I have to bring it. To the gas station, of course. Dangerous water levels. Dangerous water levels. Chevy. Little Chevy pickup. The Chevy pickup. The only truck that you need. CK 1500. Or 1500. Whatever. No, oh, the water levels are pretty dangerous, but almost there. I just want you to work. I just want you to work a little bit with me. like that we're out and we have to deliver it to to here okay seems easy enough to do and perfect okay so there you go we completed it a little bit of cash a little bit of xp whatever like that and here we go by the way, I don't know why, but if you guys cannot see that barrel over there, the red red and white barrel, it really reminds me of Gmod. I don't know why. Okay, sorry for a poor bench. 
But it, like, it reminds me of, like, Gary's mod or, like, Gary's mod, those barrels, like... I don't know if that's ripped out from Gary's mod or if that if that's an easter egg or whatever like that, but it really does look pretty close. So, anyways, guys, uh, we're going to be ending off this video right here. So, today we got a truck out and, of course, deliver completed another contract, did a lot of deliveries, of course. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. That would be amazing of you. And I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.